So now we're going to talk about the programming and analysis exam. This is the third of six different exams for ARE 5.0. Uh, and you may remember that the first one is practice management. I've got a full practice happening. And within that, I've got a project. And then I've got another project. And I've got some other projects that stop and start. And what are all the issues that are about that whole practice? How do you keep all of that rolling? And the second exam is project management. That's where we take one of those and we pull it out. We think, all right, what's the overarching issues of that whole project? How does the sort of general relationship with the uh, clients work? How does the general contracts, how do we think about what's the appropriate set of contracts, things like that. And then we get into the four that are in chronological sequence of a project. And so we have the three, which is this one, programming, planning, and practice. And that is meant to be, all right, I'm at the beginning of the project. What are all the issues that happen at the beginning of the project? Uh, you know, what are the things uh, that you have to uh, do to start a project off, to think about the design, to uh, get the design to sort of move forward, to get the project to move forward? What are all the component parts about kind of feeding all that? How do we get enough information uh, in order to know how to do the design, all of that? And then the next couple ones start moving more deeply into the design process and then eventually get into a construction time. And so that last one is sort of about the specific things that an architect does uh, during construction. Uh, so we're at this uh, first of this four sequence in a row. Uh, and this would be exam three, programming and analysis. So like we said, the issues we're going to be talking about are programming, site analysis. So those are the two kind of, all right, we've got a site, we've got a, a place to, to think about. The owner has told us uh, some information about what they need. Either they've given us a program or we're working with them on a program. Uh, and so we have enough information that we can actually design something for them. But how do you do that? What's the process of thinking about that? Well, what other kinds of outside influences would have? Well, clearly zoning code issues, building code issues. What's the economic climate of the situation, both in terms of the time, like maybe is there a lot of work happening? Is there not much work happening? How would that impact your choices? Uh, is the neighborhood uh, in an economic upswing or not in an economic upswing? How would that impact your choices? So uh, kind of all of those sort of very uh, pr preliminary uh, moving into the real design. So you're starting at the very beginning. You're moving into the real design schematic thinking. Now, interestingly, uh, NCARB has decided not to use uh, for their exams, the uh, specific terms of schematic design, design development, and contract documents. So they, they are not thinking of them uh, in those specific terms. But that's a, a sort of general way that you could start to sort of think about it. We're kind of in the programming into schematic design. Uh, and then the next one is really kind of end of schematic design, moving in through DD, moving into uh, CDs. And then the third one of that set is really uh, kind of detailing and CD sets and all of that. And then you go into that construction phase. So right now we're going to focus on programming and analysis.